Hi, and welcome back to STL TV, where you can experience St. Louis. I'm your host, Michael C. Anderson, and today in studio, I have Jeff Faulkner, singer, guitarist, and band leader for A Sky Full of Stars, the definitive Coldplay tribute band, because they are performing October 28th at Blueberry Hills Duck Room. Jeff, thank you so much for joining me here today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So you and your band members are all were in other bands, and now you just formed this Coldplay tribute band, and this will be your first official show, correct? Yes, first official show uh, for the Coldplay tribute. Uh, we did a little 45-minute warm-up set uh, out at Chesterfield Amphitheater on September 10th, uh, opening for my other tribute, Mr. Blue Sky, which is in tribute to ELO. Uh, the Coldplay tribute features three of us from the, uh, from the ELO tribute, uh, so just made it uh, pretty easy for us to do you know, that show and have both, both bands on it. Uh, so, um, yeah, it was, it, it went great and, uh, everybody seemed to have a, a good time, but, but this will be, this will be the first full show, a, a, a full night of Coldplay music. That's awesome. And I know you and your bandmates all have a big history of playing music. Can you kind of tell me more about that? Yeah, we've, uh, we've got some seasoned, uh, musicians in this band. Uh, I, I've been around the scene for over 25 years. Uh, ben Moyer, our bass player, he's been he's been around probably 25, 30 years. Uh, Charlie Brown, our key, keyboard player, uh, about the same amount of time. Uh, Ed Zimmerly uh, on drums, he's been around you know about the same amount of time. And our guitar player, Kevin Babb, uh, he's he's been around the scene for about as long as we we all have as well. So, yeah, a lot of seasoned musicians, and you know it's, you know the music business is like any other business where uh, experience matters. You know, so uh, we definitely have have that on our side. That's for sure. And how long did you say you've been playing music? Uh, I've been playing music for over thirty years uh, professionally uh, in town. I started out when I was around 15 years old, actually, playing in clubs. <laughs> so uh, probably I wasn't old enough to get into the club, but I was <laughs> apparently old enough to play at the club. Uh, so, so yeah, over 30 years uh, uh, playing professionally. So I know you're in these other uh, bands uh, with these current bandmates, but how did you all initially kind of get together and uh, find each other? So let's see here. So uh, our bass player, Ben Moyer, and our drummer, Ed Zimmerly, and I also are in a band called Vote for Pedro in town that's been around since 2006. That band does uh, a lot of clubs around town, and, and we've kind of transitioned more into private events, weddings, uh, corporate events, things of that nature. And uh, so I, that's initially where I, I, I met Ben and, and Ed, was playing with those guys in, in that band. And then uh, Charlie, our, our keyboard player, <clears throat> he was in, like I said, my ELO tribute. Uh, and uh, he just seemed like the perfect candidate uh, to do this Coldplay project. And uh, Kevin, uh, I first met up with him. You know, I, I, I touched, uh, connected with him uh, through uh, Ed Zimmerly, our drummer. Ed had, had been doing some sporadic gigs with Kevin around town and uh, brought his name up as a possible candidate for a guitar player. We had everything else set in place for this Coldplay tribute except for a guitar player. And uh, we ended up having auditions for that. And uh, Kevin uh, um, seemed like the best fit uh, as far as anyone who could come in and, and auditioned. He seemed to be the best fit and, and had the guitar, the kind of guitar tone we were looking for. Uh, with this Coldplay stuff, the guitar tone is, is integral to, to the sound. And Kevin really, really has that, that dialed in well. So I guess along those lines, I, I got to ask, uh, one, why Coldplay? Like, kind of what makes this different? And also, I got to ask, what makes it the definitive <laughs> Coldplay tribute band? Well, what makes it definitive is that we cover, you know, their entire catalog. Everything from the first album right up into their latest record, uh, and uh, you know it's uh, it, you know the other 
uh, reason why I would say it's definitive is because there's no other Coldplay tribute in St. Louis. We're the only one, you know. Uh, and that was something that was that was what was important to me when I first started. Or that was definitely something I thought about when I first started it. Uh, I, I wanted to make sure there was no other Coldplay tributes, you know. Uh, and uh, you know they are so why Coldplay? Uh, they they are so huge around the world. I mean, they uh, um, are selling out stadiums everywhere they play, all over the globe, you know. Uh, two, three night runs in stadiums sold out. Um, <clears throat> so that that was a big reason. Another uh, big reason is, uh, obviously, I, I love the music. I, I just absolutely love the music. I, I feel their first two albums are um, you know, two of the best albums ever recorded in the history of rock and roll, honestly. Um, there is not a bad song on either of those records. Every single song is a great song. And the music it's, itself is, is just so, up, it's so uplifting and emotional. Um, it, uh, it really takes you to another place, you know, get you out of whatever you're going through and, and uh, uh, can really lift, lift, lift your spirits up. And uh, that that is that uh, is a, is a big reason why I did it. Well, I think you definitely kind of have the look for at least kind of the lead singer, so I'm right. sure that helps. But I, yeah, I'm assuming it must be just kind of lighter or more fun, or like you're saying, it's more kind of hopeful kind of music than some of your other tributes or some of the other stuff you play. Would you agree with that? Like, how would that be different than the ELO? tribute band. Yeah, I, I would definitely say it's more hopeful, optimistic. Uh, you know, ELO's music is very, it, it, it's got its happy uh, elements and dun, optimistic dun. elements as well. Uh, but, you know, it, it can get a little dark at times too. You know, Jeff Lynn kind of explored uh, all realms of the, the human psyche there. Uh, whereas Chris Martin, I think he approaches, the way he approaches songwriting is definitely from that optimistic, hopeful, uh, lift your spirits up kind of place. You know, he, he, I think he views the world as, as a gift, you know, and, uh, and it, it's, 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 it shows in his songwriting. And, um, you know, I think it's a big reason why they are as big as they are. Yeah, I mean, that sounds to me like it would be a blast to kind of play that stuff. I'm sure it's got to feel good. And speaking of feeling good, how do you feel about playing in Blueberry Hills Duck Room for your first official full-length show? I'm real excited. And that was the first place I thought of when we uh, were looking around for where we were going to do this first show. Um, you know, I uh, have seen some great shows there. I've played some awesome shows there. I got a, had a chance to open up for Chuck Berry there. And... Um, you know, it was uh, it was great. You know, it, it, uh, um, it you know he's when he would play there, he would put tickets on sale, and it would sell out in like two hours. So you could never get tickets. So the only way I was really going to be able to see him was by playing a show with him. Really, you know. So I was lucky enough, fortunate enough to be able to do that. <clears throat> and uh, you know, we we the band I was with, we did our set, and it was pretty well received, which was great. Uh, and then uh, Chuck came out, and you know it was just kind of a surreal thing. It, you know, it's like wow, there's there's Chuck Berry, and, and he's eighty. He was like eighty one or eighty two at the still time, still rocking, and, and still doing <laughs> doing the duck dance, and and uh, it, was, it sounded great. Mm -hmm. And and you know, I mean, you're looking at this guy going, you know, this guy, it arguably invented rock and roll as we know it. I mean, there's. You know him and Little Richard to me are the the, the two the, are the two guys responsible for for rock and roll what it is today uh, and uh, you know he inspired the Beatles you know it's it's uh, kind of a big deal there kind of uh, <laughs> kind of a surreal thing to think about uh, when you're in and you're in the same room with this guy so well uh, that is awesome and obviously Chuck Berry's a legend you get to play there I'm sure it's going to be an amazing show and you only perform as the band? I know this is your first official show, but it's not like you do this every weekend. Like, this is more of a special event. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, we try to do maybe two to three shows a year. 
uh, in town, you know, and to make it, I, I purposefully do that to make it more of a nostalgic kind of thing when it happens, you know, um, and, and to get new people to come out to see it, you know, uh, when you're doing, you're playing all the time, uh, you know, it, it, it it's kind of hard to, to expand your, your fan base a little bit. Um, so, so yeah, we just basically try to do, try to keep it at like two to three shows a year to just keep, keep some nostalgia to it. Um, and then, uh, and it gives us a little bit of leeway if we want to do some out of town stuff, we can go out of town and do a, a few of those types of things and, and, uh, be able to come back and, 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 and still draw good, good crowds here. You know. Well, I think that's a great plan. It's going to be just one of the few times you can see you with the definitive yeah. Coldplay tribute band, A Sky Full of Stars. Jeff, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope everyone out there goes to check out their show. It's A Sky Full of Stars, the definitive Coldplay tribute with special guest Emily Wallace. And that's going to be Saturday, October 28th. Doors at 7, show at 8 at Blueberry Hills Duck Room. And for ticket information, you can go to blueberryhill.com. And also be sure to check them out and follow them on Facebook. And while you're online on social media, you should also check out STL TV. We are on all of the major channels. And you can also check us out on the good old website, stltv.net. I'm Michael C. Anderson for STL TV. Thanks for watching and until next time.